said you can't have fun when you're making a video shopping at Dollar Tree or whatever you're doing. Hi, I'm Cindy A. Lewis and sometimes I just act silly, but I do a lot of crafting here and today I'm bringing you a Dollar Tree haul. This is one of the largest hauls I've done in a really long time and it does have some stuff for kids uh, that I picked up. Like we have a treasure chest that we put a lot of stuff in. So I just want to show you some of the things that they have. Some are new and uh, give you some ideas that I'm going to use with some things. So anyway, uh, I invite you to subscribe. Don't forget to check out the May 1st videos linked below that I'm doing the junk journal kit giveaway. So if you're interested in that, you can enter on that video. If you're interested in my vintage eyes it shirt, which I coined that phrase. I don't think anyone else says vintage eyes. But anyway, I have some t-shirts and those are linked at my Teespring store. So anyway, let's jump into this haul. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, check out the different videos. We do all kinds of things here. And if you're uh, one of my YouTube family, thanks so much for joining and coming back today. I hope you find some of these things at your Dollar Tree and enjoy seeing what I found because I found some pretty nifty things. So I'm just going to start with just bags and go through it for you so that you can see and then run down to Dollar Tree and pick up what you want. Now, don't run down till I show you. So, okay. So uh, the first thing we'll do, we'll just go through this uh, basket here. There's actually three baskets. Isn't this a nice size basket for $1.25? I mean, really. So there's two gray ones and this kind of the sea green sagey color. Really like that. And um, I picked this up because I'm gonna do a, a little Lego table. And so I picked up these make it make it blocks make it blocks the dollar tree has and so these are the bases i picked four of those two brown two gray and then i picked up some other things and i'm going to make a table and um, make it so that it's inviting in our kids church and the kids can come in and and before church if they want to and build something and whatever so all right, I'll show you what all I got to go with that in a minute. But I did get this. This a little golf set is really fun. It's a hit for the kids. They play with it. Um, I do a treasure chest, as I mentioned uh, before, and I put all kinds of fun little toys in there and little special things, some candies or whatever little, you know, like the kind you would buy at the movie theater, you know, the box kind. So just some different things. And so these are the cutest little bears and they had the brown one too, but I thought the gray and the white were just adorbs. And I actually feel like I should put a bow on them. What do you think? I think I'm going to put a bow on them before I put them in the treasure chest. Also, Dollar Tree had all of these little balls for 125. So they're outdoor balls and they're water balls. So you get them wet and then you can throw them and they go a long ways. You don't have to get them wet, but look, you get sit, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six balls. And usually I think it's like four of the small ones. So that's pretty cool. Um, they have these cute little dolls, about a six inch doll, really cute. I got that one. And then I did get some playing cards. Actually, the kids sometimes tell me, can you get playing cards? Can you get Takis? Can you get this? Can you get that? I'm like, I don't buy everything they want. But sometimes, you know, I will pick up something that they really would like to play with. All right, let's see. They did have these little miniature set. This set is a um, Dos Go, like Uno. And I just want to let you know, this is just regular set and this is the jumbo set. I feel like I need to stop. I'm going so fast. There's so much to cover. Really, there is. Okay. So I did pick up two. Did I get two? I think two of these little sets. Um, these will probably go in the treasure chest. This one is called a uh, construction. I didn't say what it is. Oh, zombie. Maybe I won't put that one in there. Um, and then this one is a boat. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a, I don't know what kind of boat that is. It looks like a boat. Does that look like a boat? 
fire rescue. Maybe it's a fire rescue boat. Okay, we'll, we'll see. Anyway, then I did pick up just the blocks. Um, these are the different colors that they had. Uh, and then they have brown. So I got some of those. And then here's um, another thing I got for the treasure chest, which is this little fun uh, target. It's a disc blaster. So you're supposed to be able to put your discs in here and shoot at targets and stuff. As long as they don't shoot each other, I think we'll be all right. Now I always look at the stickers and these are the really fun big ones. This says, our family gathering place, sit long, talk much, laugh often. I thought that was pretty cool. And then this one is patience, gentle, loving, and humble. And it has B above it, B on each one. So very cool. All right, so I'm gonna take that out because that is not going to kids church. Okay. Next, I found the cutest little uh, planters at Dollar Tree. Now, I have the bigger ones, like, that actually have a medium size and a large, just like these. And I thought, how cute they are. And really, also fun to make, like, a gift basket or something. I mean, these are just adorbs. So, I just thought I was sure of that. Sorry, I'm feeling, like, <gasps> so excited. Okay. All right. Then, have you guys seen the new bee dinnerware? Okay. I, um, I haven't been going to Dollar Tree as often as I was. It's just been busy. And so I hadn't seen these and I hadn't seen them on a haul. I, you know, like I, I hadn't really watched uh, a whole lot either. I've been so busy trying to record, but, um, look how cute this pot holder is with the bee and the yellow flowers and then they had the dish uh, drying mat which I use those all the time but they had the plates and the bowls and the mugs well, I didn't get the mugs because I have plenty and I probably don't need the bowls either but look how cute that is that is so, so I only got two because I didn't feel like I should buy a whole set so I got two of those, and then they had plates, you guys. Plates! So let me put that down here. Where are my plates? Let me see. All right, here. Not only did they have plates, they have mats. This just makes me want to make a pillow. If you've seen me make pillows with my um, dinner mats before, the cloth ones, that's what it makes me want to do. And then there's the plate. Is that the cutest plate? I just love it. So I only got two. I, I, you know, like I was trying not to be extravagant. I don't need it, but I wanted to show you. And look at the cute mat. That's adorable. And I think it would make a beautiful pillow. So I did get enough to make a pillow. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I have some videos where I use mats and I make pillows without sewing. So it's a, a hot glue, fabric glue that I make the pillows with. So it's, it's pretty cool. All right, let's keep going. So one thing that I use a lot are paint brushes. So I got some foam brushes, $1.25 for 10, eight, that one's eight. Um, it's a lot and it's a good deal. And then I did pick up some cotton rounds. I use these um, to uh, take my nail polish off. So got that. So I'm gonna put that aside. Then let's see, got some band-aids. So this is the sheer kind. And believe it or not, I didn't have any of the like regular band-aid. I don't know how that happened. And then for the treasure chest, we've got some a bubble bath and some bath bombs. Who doesn't want that, right? I mean, really. Then I also picked up some of these candies. These are dinosaurs. Let's see, this is um, fluffy watermelon cotton candy. I mean, come on, you gotta at least try it. And I got a, a new puff for my bath. I get those about oh, once every quarter. Once I, you can usually tell when it's getting used up. 
And then some Sour Patch Tropical uh, Blow Pop Minis. Have you tried those? Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, these are the berries. That's for me. Okay, then I buy these drink um, flavors. So Dollar Tree has pink lemonade, lemonade, sun-kissed, grape sun-kissed orange, Hawaiian berry blue typhoon, and star burst all pink strawberry. So I picked those up. We do a lot of water. And sometimes we like to do flavors. Sometimes. I don't know. And then I do sometimes get the LA Colors Brown pencil for my eyebrow. And they didn't have the kind that I normally get. So I'm going to try this one and see if it works for me. Um, do you use anything like that? All right. Let's continue. Barbie, uh, these are not the Barbie ones, but these are fashion dolls. So I did get a couple. And then I did get a paddle ball, dinosaur paddle ball. Now this is not for children. This is the happiness is easy at the beach. And I thought that was cute. Of course, I've got my beach going on back here, trying to like lull me into it. And then I'm also making beach themed junk journals. So if you've been watching that, we're gonna be sewing in the signatures on one and finishing that one up. We do need to decorate a few pages before I sell it. And then we're gonna make the others. So may not get them all done by the end of May, but you know, it was a good goal. Then I did pick up some more of the ribbon. I love using the ribbon for my tassels and decorating and stuff. So I went ahead and picked up a couple more. Then I saw this book at Dollar Tree, and this is a great size to create a journal. So I didn't buy it for the story. I bought it for the book um, binder. <laughs> so it's nice and big and wide. So I thought this would be great for a junk journal, maybe even four or five um, signatures. So. I did, I did get that. And, uh, you know, for $1.25, and I couldn't resist it. I was like, it was calling me, Cindy, Cindy, use me for a junk journal. I'm like, oh, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah. No, I really didn't do that. <laughs> but I'm just being silly. All right. Um, this is a Slam Rocket. Has anyone ever done that? We'll try that out. Then I did get... Um, this other cute doll. She's about six inches too. She is so cute. And her name is called Alanis. Alanis? Alanis? Alani? I don't know if the S if the S is silent or not. But then look what they had at Dollar Tree. They had mermaid tails. Oh my goodness. So you got three. So I thought, well, I could I could adhere those to the pages or something for my junk journal. So I got those. And then um, I think it was one of somebody that I was talking with on YouTube. And I think it was butterflies and crafts and crochets, I think. And she was saying about using sandpaper to look like sand, which I put that on my, I haven't showed you yet, but I put it on this little pocket that I'm adding to the front. And she said, put one of these little um, fun tropical umbrella picks in there and it would look so cute. So I got one to put in there and I thought, oh, that would be cool. I thought I had some, but I couldn't find them. So anyway, I went so fast. That was my haul. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, it was really fun going down shopping. Uh, I don't, um, I don't know what my favorite thing is. Probably anything to do with my junk journals. Those things tend to be my favorites. I'm looking around to make sure I didn't miss anything. And uh, just wanted to thank you guys for watching. So have a great day and bye.